An American bishop has been chosen to lead one of the Vatican's most powerful departments. Bishop Robert Francis Prevost, who originally hails from Chicago, is now in charge of the Dicastery of Bishops. The group advises the Pope on the appointment of new prelates around the world. He is replacing Cardinal Mark Ouellet, who is retiring from this position after 12 years. Bishop Prevost will take over the post on April 12th and will receive the title of Archbishop. Joining us now for a more in-depth look at this appointment is national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, John Lavenberg. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. Happy to be here. Thanks for being here. So while Prevost is an American, he's done most of his religious work outside of America, right? Absolutely. And, you know, he's a name that most American Catholics might not even know. Right. So, I mean, he spent since 2015, he's led a diocese in Peru. And before that, he was head of the global Augustinian order. And then, you know, he was ordained a priest in 1982. And even from then on, never held an appointment in the U.S., was in Peru doing missionary work that entire time. Wow. OK, so this is a pretty powerful posi position at the Vatican. What exactly is his role? What are his responsibilities? That's exactly right. This is one of the most powerful departments in all the Vatican. What it essentially leads is this is where bishop appointments go through. So this is the department that appoints the bishops to lead all of the dioceses in the world. Of course, Pope Francis gets the final say, but the, the head of this department is who makes those recommendations. Okay. And as we mentioned, Car Cardinal Ouellette retired from the position. He is 78 years old, which is past the traditional retirement age. But he's also been surrounded by controversy. Talk a little bit about this lawsuit that he's dealing with. Yeah, so Cardinal Ouellette, you know, he's had a few sexual misconduct allegations pop up in recent months. He's denied both of them, but one in particular in Canada, in his Archdiocese of Quebec, which he led um, for a number of years, he was identified in a lawsuit, and he has taken the step to counter sue um, the woman that accused him in that lawsuit, saying that it was defamatory and it caused unjust harm to his reputation for any suit for countersuit for $100,000. If he wins that, he has pledged to donate it um, to help to go to the uh, indigenous people of Canada. Okay. And as far as Prevost's um, appointment, is this something that, you know, the Pope has final say with, or is it something that the dicastery maybe says, hey, we should go with this guy? It's a little of both. Of course, the Pope does have the final say, mm -hmm. but usually how these things go is the, the outgoing person, if they have a, as close a relationship as Ouellette did with Pope Francis, they give the recommendation. That's usually the person um, that would get this role. All right, John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.